Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next five seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 is about to cross its 50% way through completion threshold, with it ending on June 3rd, 2022, of course, starting immediately Chapter 3 Season 3. We only have two more updates left to occur in this season, being 20.30 and 20.40. And despite us missing Clombos this entire season, although it looks like they're going to be making a return based off not only what's happening in-game right now for secret challenges, but everything we're going to be breaking down in this video. On top of that too, we have some crazy information about Fortnite Mobile potentially returning to iOS and some evidence for this, which could perhaps result in the biggest live event audience ever in Fortnite history. And furthermore, just a ton more breaking news that you guys definitely won't want to miss out on, so do yourself a favour today if you haven't already decided to sit back, relax with your favourite snacks to stick around and watch the full video. It's literally only taking up around 600 seconds or 10 minutes of your day. I mean, come on, after all there's an incentive to do so, as if you find the secret word in this video, like these guys on screen from the last one, which was Clumbery, your comment could receive a heart. And one final thing I ask of you guys before we dive into it all, considering this is 100 100% free to do and enter being code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. Entering this code not only puts a giant smile on my face but also cheers up my pug Gus as he's been kinda sad about the fact he knows 70% of you watching right now are not subscribed. So if you hit the big red button right now you will help us on our final push to 2.5 million subs as we've just reached 2.4 million right now so get clicking. After all this only benefits you too considering I get different subscribers every single day who are simply yes subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment their Epic Games ID down below and potentially what they'd like to receive so so yeah, that could be you gifted in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the very next video on the channel. But with that said, now enough messing around, we need to dive into all this crazy intel, including what your mind is going to be blown by the Clombo Vault opening, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere! I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't back. Don't go anywhere! Okay, so to start things off today, of course, if you guys didn't already know, in this particular update, 20.20, this is everything currently in the game's files, or what's already come to the game. As you can see, there seems to be two skins at the bottom, which aren't actually new skins, but selectable styles for existing ones. And if you sat there wondering why didn't we get any new skins, well we actually did in the game's coding according to data miners, 12 of which were encrypted at the time of the update going live, meaning nobody could actually see what they were early. Well of course if we head over to the item shop now, there is not only the Wu-Tang Clan collaboration skins in here that have been teased across social media in multiple forms, whether it's to do with the cosmetics themselves, the real life apparel that they've been releasing to complement this collaboration which is actually quite big, and the interesting thing about this item shop is this isn't just how far it goes, despite two bundles being here and everything sold individually, we're going to be getting a brand new emote and music pack according to Sheena on the 28th of April 2022. And believe it or not, on top of that we already know what that looks like and how the music pack sounds in this short trailer form right here. Of course I won't be able to play the sound without getting copyright restricted, so feel free to head over to my Twitter linked in the video description down below if you want to hear this before the 28th when it does release again in the item shop. Despite there also being no free reward physically in game that we can earn attached to the Wu-Tang collaboration, even though it's as big as it is, Fire Monkey came out stating the following about how we can get the Wu-Tang spray as a play on words from the word Wu-Tang itself. The Wu-Tang X Fortnite merch is in the $50 to $110 range. You can get the Wu-Tang spray for purchasing merch though, obviously anything out of this price range or any of these things that are on sale. As for other free rewards that are kind of also linked to our storyline too, if you didn't notice from loading up Fortnite recently, we've got the Covert Ops quest that we can now complete. Despite it showing us the reward that we can get for completing four of the Covert Ops quests, obviously we only have one available right now when I'm recording, being established a device uplink in zero build, and despite these currently being on a timer not revealed, or what we'll have to do to earn 30,000 XP individually, going toward this sledgehammer pickaxe harvesting tool that we'll get for completing all four, Fire Monkey actually revealed the quest early right here in this tweet, so feel free to take a look at these, pause the video if you want to digest any of the intel for the upcoming three channels challenges again at the time of me recording this video, but maybe perhaps when you're watching all of these challenges are live. If that's the case, then you should be able to unlock this sledgehammer pickaxe like this in reward screen form right now, which data miners have managed to pull into game early. Also despite, as we previously mentioned, this would be upcoming in the item shop on April 28th, something else that will also be upcoming on this date according to Fire Monkey, a brand new concert in Fortnite in Creative Anyways that will loop for 72 hours, and this of course is the trailer promotion for that in the background. Just like the tones 
an icon, so it's of course from attending and actually going through the full thing and then collecting the token or gold coin at the end, we'll not only get XP for actually just, yeah, being active within this mode, going through it, but for collecting the token, and on top of that, when we leave the game from doing so, we will get a free reward, but not this particular spray, as this was for turns and I, but this one for this brand new concert upcoming. From reflecting back at the game's code into the cosmetics contained in this update too, you will notice there's a hell of a lot of sprays and stickers or emojis, and a lot of these are actually, believe it or not, attached to Arena where we can earn these in game. As of right now, the process or placement that we'll need to achieve is currently unknown, but I'll have that updated for you guys as soon as we learn anything more. But speaking of things interestingly enough to do with free rewards and even the storyline that we have learned of as of recently, from this trailer releasing to do with the Fortnite X Marvel Zero War comics, not only did we get this cool animation that goes on for like a minute, that Marvel even posted to their YouTube channel, but with there being a free reward attached to each comic book issue and then a subtotal free reward for redeeming all of those codes, we now know what they are as Sheena tweeted out the following, all cosmetics of the Marvel slash Fortnite comics, first of all a Spider-Man based outfit that we haven't previously seen, then an Iron Man based rap, Wolverine based pickaxe, Fortnite X Marvel Zero War Spray, comic exclusive, and then a Fortnite X Marvel Zero War loading screen, which is also comic exclusive, and then an outfit on top of that for redeeming all of these previous codes. The first free reward being this Spider-Man based outfit is the most interesting to me, as there was a comic book artwork leak to do with Spider-Man 2099, so perhaps this is the brand new variant of Spider-Man, as I doubt this is how they'll introduce Miles Morales into the Fortnite world. And speaking of Miles Morales, very briefly we've had another tease in the Prowler update, which is most relevant as Prowler is Miles Morales' uncle in the Spider-Verse. As Sheena states, in one of Prowler's quests he says, you're on your way, just keep going. And this supposedly is a quote from an important scene in the Spider-Verse movie where he says this to Miles Morales, perhaps even further hinting at this being an upcoming skin. Who knows, perhaps he's already in the game's files right now out of all the encrypted skins that did get put into there in this update. Furthermore, interestingly, what's been happening in this update before we move on to Clombo and everything to do with him being introduced back onto the Fortnite Island and potentially for the live event in a way that we would have never expected. Something that's got swept under the rug in this update, in my opinion anyways, is potentially the return of Fortnite Mobile, as not only was the app image updated on, I believe, at least Android anyways, as you guys know, Fortnite Mobile on iOS still looks like this in terms of its icon. We're currently stuck literally over a chapter ago in Chapter 2, Season 3. You know the Cars update, this is the last update they ever saw on Fortnite iOS. However, despite them changing this icon on updated versions of Fortnite Mobile such as Android which people have been tweeting out about. Fortnite Intel interestingly enough tweeted out the following a few days ago. Epic Games is sending business inquiries to influencers to advertise something related to Fortnite Mobile. It would be a random timing to just make ads for the Android version and there are no big leaks about Android updates so maybe this is related for Fortnite for iPhone. Honestly this would be absolutely huge now with so many people being revived back into the community with the introduction of Zero build who haven't even played Fortnite in years. And despite it being perfect timing for that reason, with Fortnite's core or casual player base being reignited in many dormant players, this would make this season's ending live event even that much more exciting, and we know there's going to be a lot of excitement surrounding it, as it will be the first one occurring of Chapter 3 since we didn't see one last season. If it wasn't already obvious, this season the Imagined Order vs the Seven is only going one way with the Seven, although it looks like they're winning, pushing back the Imagined Order to this final stage leaked, which is only over as you can see Command Cavern and Loot Lake, with us not having any further details as to what's happening when they're at this stage, almost seeming like they have complete control over the Island the Seven. It's safe to say this is the last we'll be seeing of map changes until a live event occurs, obviously when a timer is implemented into the lobby, and also in game above either Loot Lake or Command Cavern where they actually have control over the Imagined Order. And speaking of Loot Lake more specifically, what's interesting, people are starting to speculate that we're going to be seeing a Doomsday or Device live event 2.0 like we saw in chapter 2 season 2, as supposedly there's files being implemented for this to do with Jones mentioning about it in quests and stuff like that in 20.20 itself, and with this live event being huge, a battle between the Imagined Order and the Seven that we can perhaps partake in, kinda like us versus the last reality in the end event. With this war ending as we go into chapter 3 season 3, of course many people are wondering when will Clombo 
Rainbows be returning as they're already being teased. If you didn't already know, we got the secret quest for visiting the snow mounds, and believe it or not, in the game's files right now, there are even more variants of mounds, not just snow, but also dirt and sand. And with Clombridge returning around the island as a consumable that we can use to regenerate shield right now, as again, we're only 50% way through the season, and the live event will most likely be occurring literally on the last day before June 3rd. Will Clombos be returning before this live event happens and be involved in the war? And if so, are they only underneath of these mounds? As you guys know, they went into hibernation or hiding at the start of this season because of the war. And who's to say with this war commencing that the Imagined Order haven't captured some Clombos and actually hid them inside these vaults armoured up to use then against the Seven in this giant battle. And it's definitely possible that Clombos can fit inside here despite us glitching out in replay mode and seeing there's currently nothing updated behind it as data miners have discovered how big these vault systems actually are or go far back into the mountains. And with us knowing Clombos are going to be returning soon anyways thanks to Hypex basically telling us that Epic Games are making them killable when they do return and dropping so much loot that it's almost an incentive to eliminate them. Fingers crossed the IO have only armoured them up to the point where they've put machine guns on it that the IO can ride or even the Seven have done the same and haven't attached any of the bombs that we've seen around the map in the imagined order bases or inside the blim. These adjacent vault doors opening are the live event or mini live event in game that we all want to see before the big one at the end of the season. And speaking of mini live events, the current one at the time of me recording this video that's occurring is at Coney Crossroads, also mentioned in the 20.20 .20 article that did release. And believe it or not, this is the first blimp that's going to be crashing into the island itself, which will look like this as Kumar has managed to render in on the Fortnite island early. For those that don't know, the next battle that we currently know of, or the final one that we know of anyways, is going to be taking place, I believe, at Rocky Reels, which again looks like the blimp will also be crashing into the island, but we don't know where. For more intel on any of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and drop a like in today's video if you want to keep referring back to anything mentioned in this video. Speaking of other videos or your next destination now, however, make sure to interact or click on anything on screen, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you. Yes, you the individual still watching, I can see you, but hopefully in that very next video I do post on the channel.